Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Penpa Plus channel. In today's video, I want to show how you can use cube grid type or cube board type in Penpa to do some uh, 3D kind of sudokus. Also some, some of them also known as isodokus. And I'll show the techniques I use to create these sudokus and the complete process of creating a puzzle on Penpa Plus. So let's get started. First thing, uh, board type, I'll select cube and then I want a size of 4. I'll show why. And let's do just new grid. Yes. I'm going to use uh, this Isodoku puzzle by Prasanna Seshadri from GM Puzzles. I will put this link in the description uh, if you want to check out the puzzle itself. So I'll be, uh, uh, I, I won't display this uh, on the screen itself. I have uh, another window uh, actually open on my uh, screen, which I will, uh, another screen which I will use to draw this uh, but just wanted to show this is what isodoku is and uh, th there are different kinds like for example let me see if i can find uh, maybe another one because sometimes you have a just kind of a regular cube uh, okay so yeah you can see these different shapes like hollow but okay sometimes you have like a proper cube um like this one and so yeah so and yeah again so you have these varieties of uh, different kind of isodoku puzzle uh, you can check this out on this site but uh, in today's video particularly i'll be covering uh, this one and showcase how can uh, you use some of the techniques on penpa so let's get started so uh, so far what i have did is I'm in the edit, uh, sorry, I did new grid, board type cube and then side 4 uh, because the cube size in this puzzle is uh, 4 by 4, right? And then I make sure that uh, my I'm in the problem edit mode right now because I'm creating the problem. And then uh, one important thing uh, here is, as you notice, this is the regular uh, cube. Uh, where now you can use edge and normal black and then you can st start drawing the edges to like a, make a regular uh, uh, isodoku with like a standard isodoku I would say where uh, you don't have those complex kind of shapes uh, this is how it may look but let's uh, but now when you have those uh, 3d kind of views where you have you know some cells miss or pushed inside the cube then what you need to do is uh, let's delete clear everything okay so once you created a new grid right what you need to do is we don't want these inner grid lines right so I go back to new grid I select okay grid solid line but I don't want so I select none and let's see what happens update display so you can see now those lines are display uh, are gone but it's all white space so it's difficult to imagine how to draw your uh, 3d sudoku so to aid yourself to uh, help yourself what you need to do is set this grid points yes and then again update display so now you can see all these points which will help you to create uh, the sudoku you want or uh, it will help you in aiding to create those lines or borders of your regions then once you have these dots the next thing you need to do is use edge and then free sub mode free so that you can just select any two points and draw the lines and now that's it so once you are in problem mode i have set my grid points yes uh, display uh, set my grid lines to none update display and then selected edge mode freestyle and now just I'll basically 
uh, look I'm looking at the uh, puzzle image itself and start drawing uh, how it looks there because now I am because of this uh, dots I can see uh, it helps me to correlate with the puzzle image I have on my other screen so I'll just quickly so you can see now it becomes very easy to draw these lines right and let's quickly complete this uh, because I, I, I instead of spending a lot of time on details I, I just want to complete this thick line so that I want to show the next step okay so I have completed thick borders the next thing you need is the thin lines uh, right bit, uh, between the cells and regions and again the same edge free style uh, free sorry free sub mode but the style instead of black uh, you should select thin uh, so thin is you can see it's thin lines and now again just follow your puzzle image the way you want and start connecting this uh, dots uh, right and so just uh, keep doing this I'm not going uh, sp gonna spend time doing now and then the third important step is to switch border status on because what happens is when I switch to number mode if I want to enter it treats this as like a regular cube and you can see the cells it's imagining it's imagining like a, a three 3d wall on front right and top so it's it's it detects it like a there is still a 3d cube present over here so you won't be able to solve properly or place numbers uh, in the individual cells properly because not all cells are selectable because you are kind of exploiting the use of free sub mode so to fix that you need to switch on border on and now you can see it become small cursor and now you can select exactly which location you want and then you can use any of this uh, num uh, mode number normal large medium or candidate to solve or place the numbers or even to solve the sudokus uh, uh, solve this sudoku so yeah so number normal border on and now i can place my uh, given digits uh, wherever I want and once you complete that this is how it will look like so I'll just switch back to my screen uh, yeah here so this is how the complete uh, isodoku puzzle by Prasanna uh, looks like on Penpa plus and so once you have added uh, the numbers you can now switch to solution tab and put in your uh, solution digits right if you want to enable answer check in penpa so you can uh, put the solution digits in green color and then uh, finally uh, leave this border status on right because as i mentioned without that solving would be uh, difficult to select the cursor or these cells and then go to share uh, this is similar to any other puzzle creation so go to share and put uh, the title author source if you are not the author you can put the source link from where you are uh, copying the puzzle and then rules and then uh, you can see there is URL with answer check click there and you have a menu uh, I want uh, basically uh, numbers to be detected for my answer so I select the number mode I'm not going in details of what this and or means uh, I have covered in another video or you can also check out the readme manual uh, provided in the bottom of the penpa page uh, to learn about these features in detail but uh, to in short so I in this puzzle I just have numbers and then I click this and then generate URL you can see a URL appears here then you can use URL short button to shorten this URL and share with your fellow colleagues. So that's the complete process of creating this uh, 3D kind of uh, ISO uh, dokus or um, uh, I mean 3D sudoku or sometimes called ISO dokus. There is also uh, 
another kind like for example i'm using this website anypuzzle.com so you can even create these kind of uh, puzzles on penpa using the same feature of free tool that is sudoku 3d star and you can see uh, it's like uh, four by uh, sorry eight rows eight columns so again i'm just giving you a brief look on this so let's go back to penpa just to show another example new grid and i know my size is eight right because i want to show the another each uh, another thing here which is about outside frame so eight uh, let's let's use default uh, settings and then i'll update it later so i reset the grid uh, i have eight by eight size i have the uh, puzzle open on my another screen and now i don't want this border as well as these lines so i go back to new grid grid lines none grid points yes because I, it will help me to draw my edges and then outside frame no and then just update display there we go right so uh uh oops, sorry i think it's cutting on the video let me zoom out little okay sorry about that okay i think now at least the puzzle is uh, fully covered so okay yeah so again same thing you are in problem mode right then problem edge a uh, free sub and then black color first i will draw the boundary regions and here i know that uh, it starts from midpoint and it goes four cells up oops that's five cells four cells and then here and then it goes four cells inside goes four cells stop four cells inside outside inside i'll just quickly okay just to i think now you can slowly start visualizing how it looks right you can start seeing this star kind of a feel that's it so you have this uh, shape which was shown in that video uh, sorry in the image which i showed you here on this website right this one 3d star and then again using the thin grid lines uh, thin style you can put the uh inner lines and uh, again i'm not going to draw each and every line in this video i mainly wanted to show the process you can use or techniques you can use to draw this variety of designs uh on using the cube board type on penpa plus and the process of going through uh putting uh, the clues and generating the url i hope you got a brief uh, idea or you got the gist of entire process and you can i create uh, many varieties of uh, 3d sudokus and uh, uh, to show again the glimpse it's basically you can create any of these varieties as you see on the side you can create all these things uh, in penpa using this technique so i hope you like this video um, as usual uh, please do subscribe this channel and like this video uh, to stay tuned with latest updates of uh, penpa plus before going i just want to give a sneak preview of a uh, similar kind of 3d designs you can achieve but not using cube uh, grid type or cube board type but instead of using pyramid uh, sorry not pyramid triangle and uh, i'm not covering this today uh, but just wanted to show in this again triangle you can use similar thing like grid lines of oh sorry i think they were already off let me show you how it looks oh, this is how it will look but now since i'm turning the grid lines off and grid points yes no outside frame it will look like this uh, and you can increase the size of this 
what that will allow you is to create amazing designs which even i was not imagining but i'll show you some glimpses which um uh, one of the uh, sudoku or puzzle setters uh, known as glipral he created these amazing designs and sudoku uh, not sudoku i think the different kind of puzzles uh, and shared in the ctc discord server so i will just show you the glimpse i hope this is visible so you can see uh, this kind of uh, 3d kind of setup can be achieved uh, using the other and using the uh, triangle board type as well here is uh, another design uh, very mesmerizing i must say so this is another design so you can create a very like you can get get very creative basically that's what i mean and uh, the the key is same thing like just have your dots display and use edge and free tool a uh, free sub mode to just uh, connect any two dots so you can just you know make any shape you can imagine so that's the key so just um, wanted to show this uh, preview i might cover about uh, triangle board type in some other video but that's all from me today till then take care bye guys